after going through two years of what he calls emotional and physical abuse at the hands of his now ex-wife, David decided to seek help at places such as the Women and Child Abuse Protection Unit, but help was not immediate. This is where he stays, and his ex-wife has taken most of the things in the house, leaving him with almost nothing. My complaint took long. I was beaten at gender offices and also at home, even in front of the kids. She swears at me, and she tells the kids to use bad words against me, and I used to cry. If it was the women seeking help, I'm sure they would have rushed to assist. He said she opened a case of false allegations against him, and if it wasn't for the evidence of pictures he had, with the protection order he put in before, and people who witnessed the incidents, he would probably now be behind bars. Been to many offices looking for help, not to make the woman feel bad or look bad, but just to come to an understanding because we have kids together. Abuse victims are mainly known to be among women and children, and most organizations only cater for them. We sat down with Stephen Haragape, a social worker at Childline Lifeline, to find out if help is available for men that find themselves in these circumstances. Yes, definitely there is help. That's what we call intimate partner violence uh, that happens in a domestic space. And what we've developed here at Lifeline Childline is the 106 line, the gender-based violence line, which is open for anyone to call in and give um, and report any issues of gender-based violence, which they can report to on the 106 line. And that is toll-free for anybody to report. Um, of course, the previously known as the Women Child Protection Unit is now called the Gender-Based Violence Investigation Unit. That is also another space that has been created to make sure that the services are gender neutral for, for any victim that comes and reports issues of violence. He also said platforms need to be created where men can open up freely without being stigmatized. Our service providers need to up our games. As service providers, we need to be gender sensitive. Socialization has been so entrenched in the minds of people that men don't cry, men don't seek for help. Young boys need to be strong and therefore they can't seek help. We need to change that conversation. And when you provide services to be sensitive to the victim. Help is available and no one deserves to be in an abusive relationship, whether male, female or children. Selima Enoch, NBC News, Ventuk.